Hello friends, in this lesson I am going to show you how to use the move tool. Move tool is a very important tool in Photoshop. We will open the same file as we did in the last lesson. Move tool doesn't necessarily move the things that are directly under it. At least by default it doesn't do so. For example, if I try to move this layer, nothing happens because none of the layers is selected here. Therefore, to move this red square, we'll have to select the red layer and then move it. Now select the blue layer and we can move the blue square. If you are not comfortable by going back to layers and again and again and selecting them and then editing, Photoshop gives you an option of auto select which is active with the move tool. Here the tool active is move tool and these are its options. If I click on sel auto select, now I don't have to select the layers and then move. Anything below my cursor will be selected, auto selected. This is called auto select. Now I can directly select and move. This feature is nice because we don't have to always worry about selecting a layer and then move. But sometimes this can be problematic. It's not always recommended. For example, suppose you have two elements overlapping each other like so. Now this green layer is on top of the red layer. Let's bring down the opacity of the green layer so that we can see the layer behind it. See there is a red layer behind the green layer. At this point auto select will always select the layer on top. Even if you want to select the red layer it will not select. So I will recommend to keep this auto select off. But if you like to keep it on there is an option by which you can access a layer beneath a layer. If we bring our cursor here and right click, Photoshop gives us an option as to which layers are below the move tool and we can select any and move. Suppose I want to select the layer 1, I can select this and move. If I bring my cursor on this blue square and right click, we can see that only two layers beneath the cursor, the blue square and the layer 1. This becomes a useful way of working as you do not have to go to layers panel again and again to select. To move objects there are a few keyboard shortcuts. If you want to move an element in a straight line horizontally or vertically select the layer press and hold shift and drag it. Now you can see it is moving horizontally but the vertical value is not changing. Similarly if I click sh hold shift and drag it up only the vertical value changes, the horizontal value does not change. If I drag it diagonally and shift hold, the movement is constrained to a 45 degrees angle. This move tail is also useful in duplicating a layer. If we select the green layer, let me increase the opacity and move it to original place. Now we put our cursor on the green layer and hold alt and drag it, it will duplicate the layer. See, every time I hit alt, you can see that when I, when I hit alt, my cursor changes to a double arrow which means that I am holding alt to duplicate the layer. Duplicate as many layers as you want from here. Let me trash them all, select them all and trash them. That's all for this lesson friends. See you at the next lesson.